Hi, my little glow monsters. Uh, I told myself I should stop doing that. Hi, guys. Today, I'm bringing you my October hits in a God knows after all the Halloween craziness. I'm still looking like a Halloween creature. <laughs> I mean, it's it's tough. It's tough when you've been so Halloween focused and then Halloween is over and you fall in this black hole of like, what do I do with my face? So I decided to ease out of Halloween by doing this peach goddess princess makeup look. <laughs> yeah, but I hope you enjoyed all my Halloween makeup tutorials. And I know, I, I know, I have to get back to this. I said that I had all this time for Halloween tutorials, which turned out I didn't. I was super busy with projects and traveling. And uh, I managed to get four out instead of six. So I think it did pretty good because usually I only do two. But yeah, please remind me next year, April, June, to start pre-recording the Halloween tutorial so I have them all ready in October. But um, yeah, here I am. Because of all the traveling and October's Halloween festivities, I haven't really been able to try a whole lot of new products. I did manage to find out about a couple of new products that I am totally obsessed with, but I'm gonna be honest, it isn't like my usually long list of loves. It's a, it's a, it's a shorter one. Which, which, it's okay. See, without any further ado, if you would like to know my October hits in a God knows, then please keep on watching. All right, let's get down and dirty. Let's get into it. The first hit of this month of October was the Kopari Coconut Melt. Now, when you follow me on Snapchat, which is Nikki Tutorials at me, I have been talking about this product um, last month in the beginning of October. And I got this because one of my favorite makeup artists, Priscilla Ono, uses this on herself and on clients. And what she uses this for is to hydrate your under eyes for, especially if you're a fan of baking, which let's be honest here, I love baking. Baking has the tendency to make your under eyes look a little dry and crusty. And this helps really moisturize and soothe them when you're not wearing makeup. So I use this in my skincare routine. This is my final and last step. I take just the tiniest bit, just you need the tiniest bit ever. And I just gently massage it underneath my eyes and it makes my under eyes feel really hydrated and taken care of and, and moisturized. And after a couple of weeks, like two to three weeks, weeks, I did notice a huge difference with my under eyes when I baked wearing makeup because it just looked all so much more healthy and less crusty and nasty. So it's working. It's doing what Priscilla told me it would do. Now I'm going to be real with you. This is a very big jar and literally I don't think I can ever finish this jar in my life because I'm using this for a month straight every day. This is what happened. That is like nothing. Literally, honestly, all you have to do is put your finger in here, go back and forth like three times. That's enough for both your eyes. Priscilla also told me this is great to break down liquid lipsticks with for if you have like a really, really intense one that you cannot get off and you want it to break down on your lips. You massage this over top, let it sit for a little bit and it will break down the product and you can wipe it right off. But this has been amazing for my under eyes. And whenever I have like really dry patches, I just massage it in and you, you need the tiniest amount. So if I can be like 100% real with you, do not get this big jar. You don't need it you won't finish it go for a little jar you have more than enough next up really quickly Juvia's Place Nubian eyeshadow palette. I know I talked about this before like two months ago, but this palette has been my holy grail. I cannot put it down. It is my neutrals dream. It looks like this. It has everything a neutral heart desires. It is so affordable, like crazy affordable. And it was out of stock for a long time. It's now back in stock. I, it, this is my obsession and my everything. And I, ju I just wanted to put that out there again, okay? Okay, my next hit is something I've put off telling you for a couple of months now. I've been using this for a long time, but it's it's like kind of awkward to talk about it. So my, I'm wearing a wig, obviously. I am not the most confident person with my hairline. I am super blonde. So right at the edge of my hairline, my hair is like super, super light blonde. So I have hair there. It just looks bald because it's the same color as my skin tone. Um, so that is something a little bit awkward to me because it makes it look like I have like, like things, like 
bald spots. Um, and oh my God, I was so awkward telling you about this, but I, I was watching a video on YouTube and someone went, well, I'm gonna use this hair shadow. I was like, what, wait, what, wait, what? This is an Asian hair product and it's called the 3CE Style Nanda Hairline Shadow in the color Natural Ash. I got this off of Amazon and it looks like this. It comes with three colors, a more blondish warm color, an ashy color, and a super dark ashy color. It comes with this brush, which is perfect. And whenever I'm wearing my natural hair or wearing my hair up where you can see like the, the line of my hairline, what I will do is grab this color right here, the center one, tap the brush in it, and just at the line, I will color the hairs and fill in blank spots to make it look full and luscious and amazing. And um, and it's been a little bit of a secret of mine because people have been like, wow, your hairline has been looking so on point lately. And I'm like, it's a shadow. <laughs> so yeah, it feels a little bit weird for me to talk about it like that, but it's been, an insecurity of mine and for a hair shadow to completely change my way of thinking about my hairline and just it makes me feel so much more comfortable and I love that that's why I love makeup that's why I love cosmetics because they make you feel good when you want them to um, so I highly recommend this it lasts all day long and it's untraceable you can't see it no one has ever clocked me like no one ever went oh my god you have hair shadow on um, so I'm in love with this I highly recommend it it isn't too expensive. I got it off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but I'm obsessed. A lipstick I've been wearing for like weeks straight, like this would be my only lip option, um, is the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. Now I got this because of Jeffrey, and this color is such a stunning nude. It is so beautiful. It just, it flatters my skin tone so much. It is nude, but not deadly nude. It has that little touch of pink and peach that makes it so cute and flirty and beautiful. And I love the packaging. It's rose gold. It looks so vintage and cute and amazing. And this color, I've been obsessed with it. It goes with every look. It goes with smoky eyes, winged eyeliner, glitter eyes. It goes with bare eyes, natural eyes, no eyes. <laughs> it honestly goes with every look. Whenever I'm traveling, this is the lipstick I bring with me because I know it will go with everything and it will make me look good and make me feel comfortable and confident. And that is what I'm looking for in the lipstick. It doesn't dry up my lips. It has a beautiful, luscious, glossy finish, but it lasts and I highly recommend it. Plus she has a lot of colors. Now onto another lipstick. Now when I want my lips to be deadly nude, but like still fierce, I have been falling in love with this Lazy Lullaby lipstick by MAC. This is like a gray, pale, deadly lavender. <laughs> and I don't really use it on its own. I love pairing this with Kim KW. It just makes it look so beautifully nude and like, <laughs> I wouldn't wear this alone. I wouldn't really recommend it on its own because it might look a little bit weird and deadly, but I love using this color to kind of cancel out the redness of my lips. I have super pigmented red lips and um, that is not always the look I want to go for. And I find that this lipstick right here really helps cancel out all the color to create a clean canvas for whatever you put on top. And when I put this one over top, it's just dream, dream team dream team. Let's talk about a brush that's always with me when I wear my makeup throughout the day and I need to be able to touch up. This brush right here, this is by Sephora. This is the Pro Press Full Coverage Precision number 67 brush. And it has a weird shape. It's kind of like a a beauty blender shape. Wait, hold on. Do you see that? It kind of looks like a beauty blender. What I personally use it for, and let's get so real right now, like in the edges of my nose, like right up in there. I get super oily and my makeup tends to move there. And with this brush, I grab a little bit of powder and I go right up in there. And I brush, <laughs> I go right up in there and I mattify it and set it into place. And I think it's the perfect brush for that. It's just an amazing dense brush that gets the product on there, but it has the ability to beautifully transfer it into the skin and make it look stunning. 
stunning. It's a beautiful brush. I have like three of them, concealer, powder, touch up brush. It's an amazing brush. It's affordable because it's Sephora brand and I, I'm obsessed. Okay. Morphe came out with pressed pigments and the colors are just magical. So let me show you my absolute favorite. Now this is why I love it. It's a pressed pigment. So it's super pigmented. It will do whatever you want it to do. It has coverage. It is velvety. It is shockingly beautiful and it's, it's, it's amazing. The lightest color they have is called Champagne Nights. You already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Champagne Nights is a beautiful highlighter. I'm wearing it as my glow today, and I'm sorry, but can we just all take a second to admire that blindingness? It has a pinky duochrome, so the base is a beautiful light white pinkish champagneish color, and then the sheen of it, the duochrome of it, is like a vibrant pink. So that gives it that really cool effect where it has a pink shine to it. It is duochrome realness. You only need the tiniest bit. Let me swatch it for you. Ah! So there's a bunch of colors that you can actually use as a highlighter, as a blinding glow as well. And I think for the price, that's amazing because you get an eyeshadow and highlighter in one. They retail for like $6. I quickly want to show you some other colors I love. This color right here is called Untamed. This is the color that is on my lids today. Um, I'm sorry. D crazy pigment. Like so easy to work with. They have minimal fallout. They feel very velvety and soft. I can talk about these for, oh, I love this color. It's called Richly Made. Isn't this fall in an eyeshadow? This one is called Richly Made Up, and it looks like that oh my god all right and i am pretty sure that that are all the products i have to show you this month like i said it's a shorter list because i've been so halloween minded and traveling um but it's a good list it's a good list and now let's turn over to a not so good list oh yeah no. My first oh god no of October has been the long comb this one right here. This one is called Absolute Lo Oh my god. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Absolute L'extra L'extra <clears throat> Boom Elixir You Lancome I bomb elixir. <laughs> this stuff right here cost me a fortune. This little pot right here, although you don't need a lot, let me tell you this. This little pot right here cost me like $260. And it comes with a kit. It has eye, it has like an eye mask patch thing to help moisturize. But I've tried this for three weeks and it did nothing. Sometimes when you use a product and it's really expensive, you your brain is almost like telling you it's doing something. So you start seeing things. But then when you look back in reality, you're like, that did nothing. So I used this for three weeks before I knew about the Kapari coconut melt for my under eyes. And for three weeks, my life was a lie. I was like, yeah, oh my God, this is totally working. And it did nothing. It honestly did nothing. It's just like smearing on a really expensive nothing. Okay, so this, oh God, no. You have to take this, oh God, no, with a little grain of salt because, it, well, okay. There's a story behind these. These ColourPop highlighters recently came out. They have a green, they have a pinkish beautifulness, and they have a blue. So when I tried these on my Snapchat, I was like, oh, okay, there's nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the pinky one. Watch. What? Well, if the light gets it nicely, there is something to be seen, but it's like <sighs> The product first of all feels very waxy and um, Silicone-y and I feel like I put this over top of my makeup and it kind of moved my foundation so it made it look really patchy and nasty like i expressed my opinion on snapchat thinking oh my god why would you buy something so sheer and not <laughs> blinding because i love my blinding glow so people then informed me that these are meant as transformers so you put your regular highlighter on and you can bounce these over top to give them either a pinkish feel a greenish feel or a bluish feel but first of all <laughs> anybody got time for that i mean i get I, I get it. I, I get why they are made like that, but 
Ain't nobody got time for that. But again, take it with a little grain of salt because if you really build these up, you can make them more intense. But for me, the consistency and formula gets too waxy and too silicone-y and it starts moving the product underneath. So for me, the more I build it up, the messier and uglier it gets. And I'm not about that soft subdued highlight game. So for me, these are a no, but please, and I can't stress this enough, whatever works for me may not work for you or whatever works for you may not work for me. And I think makeup and cosmetics and skincare is all such a personal game. It always bugs me when I don't like a certain product and another YouTuber is obsessed with it. And then people start thinking either of us is lying and no, makeup is a personal game you like it or you don't something works for you or it doesn't and that's just how the cookie crumbles and with that i am not a fan of the ColourPop highlighters but you may be obsessed with them and i think we have to respect that so for me it's a pass and that's it those were all the hits and oh god knows i have for you for the month of october what were yours let me know in the comment section down below or on twitter or on instagram let me know and i would love to know what your list was this month for a full list of every single product mentioned and used go to my description box below or on nikitutorials.com you can follow me on twitter instagram facebook and snapchat that all is Nikki tutorials as always if you enjoyed watching this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i want to thank you so much for watching again i love you so much and thank you for i just want to take this moment to thank you for all your constant love and support and especially during halloween like your support and warmth and love it means so much to me and it never ever goes unnoticed and i want to thank you for that and you guys make me feel so confident and amazing and i love you and hopefully i'll see you guys on the next one